All right, this box is for a filled by Amazon as FBA. So this one's full of 61 books and CDs. Most of them are CDs. There was only four books, I believe. Two of them pretty large, but uh, there was only four books and the rest CDs. And the majority of the CDs came from those three Gaylords that I just finished. Just finished. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. So those um, majority of those came from that uh, that last Gaylord, the third Gaylord that I um, that I just finished a couple days ago. So in total, so this is 60, no, oh, that's actually, yeah, it, it's, I, I think I counted about 53, a little over 50 uh, CDs for FBA that I got out of this third and final Gaylord, of my most recent Gaylord purchase. These are Gaylords that I purchased at the, for, in the first week of December, so two months, uh, finally finished them. Um, of course, that's, I won't go into detail about that, but basically, yeah, I finally finished them and it feels good. And finally, I will send this off for some good money in this box. Uh, overall, 61 items is what it was. So between the three Gaylords, now again, these are Gaylords of just CDs. So it's not mixed media. Of course, it's not books, it's just CDs. Um, so of those three Gaylords, I found 160 CDs that I could send in to FBA and I don't know, a dozen or 15 or so for Merchant Fulfilled. So 175-ish between FBA and Merchant Fulfilled, but just FBA, 160. So it's around 53 CDs per Gaylord. So it's very low compared to what I used to do years ago, like three or four years ago. Um, and there's a variety of reasons for that, but I kind of knew that, uh, you know, that, that, that I'm not going to find 200 CDs for FBA in a, in a Gaylord of CDs. Um, that just kind of where it is right now. Uh, of course it always depends on the source, etc. It's possible that I could find a better Gaylord source. Um, and I'm going to try out one more and to see, just give it a test run, not buy a whole Gaylord, but if it works out to get, you know, uh, empty the Gaylord out or part part of it anyway. We'll talk about that later when I finally do that, if and when I do that. Um, but but yeah, that's kind of where it is, uh, 160 you know, CDs from those three Gaylords. But of course I found hundreds and hundreds of CDs I can sell in my local sale and I've already sold a lot of them. Um, I found many, many items, uh, CDs and other, well, mostly CDs, but uh, there was a few, you know, video games and audiobooks and whatnot, but mostly CDs that I can sell individually on eBay, as well as, of course, tons of lots that I've put together on eBay. Um, and yeah, so I don't believe I will be buying more CD-only Gaylords. Uh, I'm just going to try to put things together in a different way when it comes to CDs. And um, I tried this out. I made a video about it, but I, I mentioned it in a video or made a whole video about it where I, I was trying this out, getting all these CDs to see how many I could find for FBA. And it turns out it's not that many. Um, so it's definitely not worth it to get it for the main reason of, you know, trying to find CDs for FBA. It's going to be that for me anyway, plus finding lots of, of good CDs for my local sale. But it's just so, so, so many. You know, it's anywhere between 1,500 to 2,000 probably closer to 2,000 CDs in one packed Gaylord of CDs. So it is just a lot of CDs to go through. Um, takes a long time. And I'm not even talking about, you know, just clearing the, seat, the, the Gaylord because I can clear it within a couple of hours uh, and have an empty Gaylord, but it's the going through part and the scanning and, you know, looking things up and checking the discs and all of that stuff. It just takes a long time when you have so many CDs to go through. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm always, you know, I'm on the hunt for better sources, uh, for items for FBA, also for my sale, that kind of thing. Um, and I think Gaylords of just CDs is too much, <laughs> too much for me. 
Uh, you know, although I've mentioned before too, when I do get mixed media Gaylords, it's a lot, there's a lot of DVDs in there and then I'm just stuck with a lot of extra DVDs that I have to sell off on eBay. So it's kind of a, you know, um, not stuck between a rock and a hard place, but, but it's, it's sort of, you, you kind of have to decide whether, you know, you're going to go with Gaylords all in and that's just what it's going to be, or, you know, search out different sources. And I've always wanted to become sort of the local place where people donate books and media and where people come with better quality stuff that they're looking to sell. And that's, and that, and that's definitely, I've created that to a certain degree, but um, it definitely takes time to build it up to the point of where I have so much coming in that I don't have the need to seek out um, other inventory from things like Gaylords or other sources so that people will bring it to me either you know donated like i said or buying it in bulk uh, or trading it in you know whatever the situation is and i've had tons and tons of donations this weekend i got a couple donations i'm getting more trade-ins i'm getting um you know a lot of, uh, consistently getting more opportunities to buy good stuff as well it's not always good <laughs> but opportunities to buy speaking of that someone's going to drop by around 4 30 the warehouse to donate a few boxes of books we'll see where What's in those? I have, a, like I said, I have a couple of donations from this weekend. So fingers crossed. Hopefully there's some good stuff in there I can send into Amazon. If not, oh well. But again, you know, just trying to trying to find those good sources because really that's what it's about when it comes to reselling, period. But, um, you know, trying to build up, you know, get a, get a quality source that I can build up my FB inventory um, to much larger than it currently is. Uh, you know, I want to double, triple, quadruple what I have right now. And I just looked again when I was in, in my Amazon account, Seller Central, preparing this this um, this shipment, this FBA shipment. I looked into my my restock limits and it's gone up again, another 300. Now it's over 1,500. So that's great. Uh, I've been hearing that from other resellers, FBA resellers, that their, their limits have gone up significantly. So I'm definitely going to try my best to take advantage of that and get my... FBA inventory much, much higher than it currently is so that I can see those numbers go up a lot. You know, I've been having some good FBA sales days recently for me anyway. Um, I'm making sales every day on FBA, but you know, I understand a couple things that number one, I'm not sending in a ton. Um, I've been sending in before, before last week, which I didn't send anything. And I've been sending it in about, I think I had three or four weeks in a row where I sent FBA shipment in. So that was good, you know, just feeding it, feeding it, and, and seeing the results. Um, but I do know that I'm not sending a ton in. I'm not sending like 100 in every week, you know, that kind of thing, um, uh, or more. And so I know that, that I'm, since I'm not sending in as much, I'm not going to see as many sales, of course. <laughs> and also that that generally, you know, this is we're getting into a slower part of the year. You know, the, the, the best parts of the year, you know, period, selling online are really after summer all the way till about end of January, beginning of February, when it starts to slow down after the holidays, because people definitely still keep spending money into January with their gift cards and, you know, all that kind of stuff and just still in the, in that mood. So that's fine. You know, I'm still going to feed Amazon as much as I can. When I get stuff, I'm sending it in and sales still keep coming in. So I'm excited to see that grow. Um, so I can focus, you know, not focus more on it, but put more effort into it so that I can grow FBA numbers a lot. That's a big goal this year. It's not just to grow the numbers, but to find a consistent source or sources. Um, and ideally, I, like I said, ideally I will just, you know, I'll keep having my sales. Hopefully by the end of the year or before I will have a more consistent flow of donations and buying opportunities coming to me in my store. Um, because that's typically how it works, you know, those kind of things come in and be surprised at what people will donate or, um, you know, just uh, want to sell, but not for not too much money, just want a little bit for it. Um, it depends on the person, really. Some people just willing to donate. Some people always looking to make a little bit of money off of their stuff. Um, but anyway, yeah, so that's the idea is that I get that consistent source um, that I become that and I don't have to always seek things out. That, that opportunities come to me, people, you know, people do call me and they do message me on Facebook and et cetera, saying, do I buy, do I buy? And and so it is, you know, it is happening. Uh, I just want to increase that. 
Um, so I don't have to look for stuff as much, basically. Hold on one sec. So yeah, I am glad to get this other FBA shipment out. Um, monetarily, it's larger than the last couple I sent out, so that's good. So should see a bump in sales uh, in FBA and just keep building it up. And I understand, and I think you might, <laughs> that the larger my inventory is, the more I sell because some things don't sell right away. Something I sent in a couple months ago is going to sell you know, today or this week, etc. And so you just build it up over time. And as long as you keep feeding it, sales should increase, basically. Uh, even during the slower times, guess what? People still spend money on Amazon, <laughs> even on books and media. Uh, for me specifically, books, CDs, the occasional audiobook. Um, I don't really sell video games on there or vinyl anymore, but um, it's mostly just CDs and books. But yeah, guys, I'm excited about sending another shipment. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well with that. If you are doing FBA or Amazon, I highly recommend um, shipping in as much as you can, increasing that inventory level and getting those numbers up. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I do talk about things like reselling on Amazon, books and media on eBay, as well as reselling in my local store, which I have uh, nearby here in my warehouse that I've converted into a retail space. Uh, and if you enjoy that kind of stuff, please subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.